We are here in uh, Sand right now, where they have this uh, salmon studio, where they keep the salmon. They go up uh, this waterfall, I'll show you. So you got this waterfall over there. Uh, you have this waterfall over there and uh, they, they have a side step to that and a kind of a step ladder where they keep the salmon um, in place and then you can watch them from a window below the, the surface of the water and there's some pretty big ones in there as well so yeah that's 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 cool uh, my oldest son is uh, pretty fond of uh, anything that is fish related so that definitely put a smile on his face today otherwise you still you also have that little bridge uh, back there uh, which is nice uh, and uh, it took the opportunity to take the drone out and shoot a couple of uh, nice shots of the bridge over there as well but uh, yeah now we're going to uh, Ropet where our uh, stay for tonight is and in the meantime we go a little bit further before we go to the house we go a little bit further to Svandalsfossen uh, where I hope to take the drone out again as well and get some nice shots from that waterfall as well so yeah let's go It's a bit uh, chilly today, so I uh, had to wear a fleece jacket. Uh, yeah, behind me you see the uh, Langfossen waterfall. It's a 612 meter waterfall, uh, which is uh, really beautiful. And uh, we stopped to uh, take a couple of pictures, uh, put the drone in the air again, and uh, yeah. Uh, now we're on to the uh, next waterfall, which is the Latafos, or Latafos, uh, as I should pronounce it. And then we're uh, off to uh, Vossevanger today. So yeah, quite a bit of driving to do, a uh, little bit of sightseeing, but yeah, it's, uh, it's beautiful here in Norway.
our last stop for today, Skjervsfossen, which is I think like waterfall number 72 today, but uh, we did stop for each and every waterfall of course. Uh, this one is 135 meters high, uh, going down in two sections, so you got the uh, upper section there and then of course the lower section, and below there's a small pond uh, where the kids are playing right now, but it's, it's freaking cold water, so uh, I'm not going to go in there. Um, but after this we're going to Vossevangen where our home is and we'll stay there for four nights and do a lot of stuff in the uh, in the area and I'm uh, really looking forward to it because we'll have four days of nice weather as well there um, so yeah see you guys tomorrow Today we are taking the ferry to uh, Kapanger. We left in Goodfangen. Uh, we did the uh, Stalheimskleiva uh, road as well, which was uh, beautiful. And now we're going to uh, Kapanger, visit the Stave Church or Staff Church. And then uh, after that, we uh, are going to come back over Flam. Uh, and we'll take the uh, mountain road, which is uh, Arlandswegen which will have uh, another beautiful spot or two to uh, perhaps fly the drone. And then uh, it's back uh, to Vossevangen again. Um, yep, it's a long day, but uh, it's beautiful here, so it's going to be worth it.
Behind me you see uh, Stekastan and uh, looking out over the uh, Arlandfjord. So this is our uh, last stop for today so now we need to go back to uh, to our house and uh, tomorrow is yet uh, another day but it's kind of windy so uh, let's see if I can put the drone up yes or no but um, I'm not sure we'll see. Good morning again guys. So uh, today we are on our way to Vöringsfossen uh, and behind me you see the uh, Hardanger Bridge which is one of the longest suspension bridges in the world and uh, when you on either side of the bridge you have this uh, roundabout which is lighted in this uh, very blue color uh, which is really nice to, uh, to drive to. It's something that you don't expect and even it's in a tunnel so you do have a roundabout in a tunnel. Uh, it's not something that you see in Belgium, but in Norway, eh, it's all normal. So yeah, um, on to Vorningsfosse, and in the afternoon we'll probably let the kids play a little bit at the uh, Skerdesfosse that uh, we went earlier, so they can play a little bit more in the, in the water as well. Um, the weather is getting a little bit more overcast, uh, still a little bit of sun that we have right now, but uh, it should rain this afternoon, so hopefully uh, we can beat the rain. And then uh, tomorrow we're uh, off to the next location. currently charging up a little bit at the uh, supercharger in uh, Adfjord and we were planning to uh, look around a little bit but uh, unfortunately <laughs> there's this huge cruise ship that's uh, in our way uh, so it completely blocks the view from uh, for the fort or into the fjord so we're going to drive a little bit and then see which viewpoints we get along the way <laughs> 